Growing up, I uh, lived in a Christian home. My parents were super Christian, really involved with the church. My mom worked in the church. I went to Christian school, and I thought I was 100% Christian. I thought that my life was fine, that I, if I was to die tomorrow, I'd go to heaven, just because of the family that I was born into. And I didn't truly understand what it was to be a Christian. And it wasn't until when I told one of my brother's friends that he couldn't come to the home fellowship because he wasn't a Christian. And I was just a bratty little kid that thought that I was better than him. And then my brother, he turns around and he yells at me and he goes, Dave, you're not a Christian. And this just shattered my world. And I, uh, I remember I ran from his room all the way to my mother who was on the opposite end of the house. And I just like kneeled at my mom and I said, mom, Joe just told me I'm not a Christian, and he can't be right, right? Because, you know, you're Christians, so we're Christians, right? And my mom was like, well, if you want to be a Christian, then you can just ask Jesus into your heart. And I said, well, sure, why not? Let's do it. Got saved that very day, and I, and I thought, okay, I have Jesus in my heart, and now all I have to do is just be a good kid, and then I'll get to go to heaven. Okay, and you know what? It happened. I am... Yeah, I'm perfect. No, yeah, that, that's a lie. I'm a terrible person. So I grew up in the church, which was a wonderful way to grow up because I got a lot of uh, spiritual growth and a lot of people told me a lot of things about Jesus, but there's a danger in growing up in the church like this because you grow numb to what the Spirit might have for you because people would walk up to me and I'd get nervous because if I said the wrong thing they might judge me and they'd say hey Dave spiritual question I'd be like hey spiritual answer and they'd be like good job Dave A plus and I'd be like okay I'm alright okay so I'm still okay God you're still okay God's still not mad at me so I was going through my childhood just trying to be a good kid being uh, a good Christian but as I grew older and older I got around bad friends, I stopped reading my Bible, I stopped uh, listening to what God had to tell me. And yeah, sure, I still went to church and I still was really good at saying spiritual things, but it just wasn't right. My heart wasn't in it. And I uh, started to grow even more numb towards God. And I realized that my life was actually getting worse and worse. Like I'd say I was a Christian and I tried to do good things. But then I'd see that my life is getting worse and worse. I mean, I was looking at things I shouldn't be looking at. I was saying things I shouldn't be saying. And I was doing things that I really shouldn't have been doing. And so I was like, God, what's going on? What am I doing with my life? You know, I went, I went to missionary trips. And I've been to church every Sunday of my entire life, whether or not I wanted to, because my parents forced me. God, what's going on? And then last summer, I decided to go to A Vision for Life. And it was there that God started to show me His grace. And then I realized that it wasn't through works, but just by His grace. Who will be our Savior? Romans 5 8 tells us that God demonstrated His own love for us, that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. That means that while He was on the cross, He was thinking about you, He was thinking about me, and He knew that He loved us and He was dying for us so that we could be saved. And because He died on the cross for us, we see His grace as well. Now by grace I mean that God doesn't change. And so when we fail, when we fall, or when we mess up, because we all do, we think that God's mad at us. We think that God's angry at us and that He wants to kill us and punish us. He is just, which means that He wants to punish sin. But He's also love, which means that He sent Jesus on the cross to die for us. And that's what His grace means. He will never stop loving us. And through this grace, we experience a kind of rest, a kind of strength, a peace that we couldn't imagine. And through this grace, we can do incredible things. When I look back at my own life, I've seen that in just the short amount of time that I spent in God's grace and in knowing that He loves me and in accepting Him as my Lord and Savior, I have traveled the world, I've done incredible things for Him, and I'm just amazed at what He shows me throughout my life. Through the gospel I've learned that God's grace has not only saved me from my past, but it also gives me a future and a hope. 